We're still in the Edelweiss Institute in Switzerland. Trying to figure out where all these people are being shipped to. Or, the, or what happens to them. We know they're being shipped here. Now we're working on a distraction. For the chef, for the boss of the Edelweiss Institute, the crazy lady. So we can get Mr. Holmes. We are playing Watson right now. We can get him the key to his heart. I mean, to a secret door where the patients were brought. So he has one-sided uh, paralyzation of the mouth, of the face. Two deep scars. Oh, this is a very, very poor guy. They're carving into his brain to make him forget the past because he was painful. So as he remembers anything, you're back under the blade. It's like a lobotomy what he's getting. He's got twice. Severe chemical burns faded with age. Uh, we're gonna need one more thing. Oh, there we go, his hand. Skin pigmentation. All right, let's see. Uh, ill due to treatment itself. Ill and treatment isn't working. So has he been paralyzes of facial muscles and blue-gray pigment? I think it's because of the treatment itself. It's just, just, uh, just what I think. It appears that his illness is a direct result of the treatment he has received here at Black Edelweiss. Dear Lord, what did Gygax do to you? Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. Excuse me, who are you? I don't know why I keep doing this, expecting something different. He forgets everything all the time. Oh, we can do a deduction. Uh, how to lure Gigax out of her office. Oh, so she cares about him because she caused the damage. Oh! I mean, because he is the former director of the Black Edelweiss. Mr. Becker, Professor Becker. Ah, wow, what an evil woman. It just gets worse. You meet her and you think like, holy crap, that is one evil woman. And that, that repeats itself a couple of times where you think like, holy crap, she's even worse. Sheesh. So we can, we have to lure her out of her office so we can steal her key. If Becker can still write, perhaps he can get Gigax's attention with a letter. Wow, she, she turned him into this shell of himself so she can be the director of the institute and then Hello again. torture you more people. Me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson. And you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Edelweiss. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait. Let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, yes. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Dear Professor Gygax, your vile work has ruined countless lives through needless suffering. Your methods serve nothing but to show your own sick emotional state. You will be brought to justice and the world will know your cruelty. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. 
It's done. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. For some reason, everyone's a German here in Switzerland. <laughs> <sighs> I thought this could have been the one game that got us right, but no. It's forbidden. We can't have any representation. The, re the Germans represent us. <laughs> Hi, uh... So what are we doing here now? That's the letter. And what are we doing with it? We talk about it to the guard. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. He's, he's got the, the armband. I'm the red armband. He's back in Germany. <laughs> Hell? Was this an intentional choice, giving them the red armband? I gotta check if there's a swastika on it next time. Is that the key? What is that? That could be the key. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. Okay. Oh, maybe she put it in her one of her drawers. We recently took, uh, dear professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of our mutual, mutu, mutual, 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 mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana jewelers, who made several offers far exceeding our experts' estimate of the stone's value. The final sale price agreed upon for, for the 11 gems was 12,550 Swiss francs. Our client was instructed, has instructed that you receive two-thirds of this sum transferred to your solicitor as per usual. As always, our discretion is assured and we look forward to continue business with you and your illustrious patron. Yours sincerely, Geoffrey Scott, representative of the E.W. Gray Banking House, New Orleans. There's another thing here. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Ooh, we got the key. Can we open any other drawers? There have to be two more things here. A diary? December 1879. <clears throat> it has been three months since I took over the Edelweiss from Becker. Not all my colleagues approved of the rule changes, so I am now the only professor here. No matter, the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personal shortage. At last, my work can flourish without the impairment of his lesser mind. The first payment has arrived from R. Our deal posed the risks. Our deal does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if he is true to his word. The first shipment of Chosen Ones has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken minds. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly, undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Two birth with one stone. We got everything now. Nothing special about this. Yeah, we needed to have a look at that before leaving. That was just mandatory. Okay, let's go and send... Uh, the cook is gone. Perfect. Now we can send the key down to Holmes.
it's sealed tight, I can't exit the same way. Okay, so I didn't expect that everything but the school room. School room. The broken tooth? The tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Oh, we got foot foot shackles too. Huh. What a great classroom. Teaching them to suffer. So what else am I looking for? What else am I looking for? Oh, under the table. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Son of an ass. All right, we're reconstructing the sequence here. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. That sounds like... That looks like a uh, Cthulhu language. At the top right. And then you summon Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, no, we're not constructing a sequence. We're just... Okay. We're just watching that one thing. The smacking of the head into the desk. Are you all insane? Are you all insane? Their minds have been raptured. Is that an actual head? No. Trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that are chosen utter nothing but sacred words and lo the trance will begin and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond uh, your work is essential as many of our flock do not speak our language and time is of the essence it would be best to work in groups performing at least one seance per day for a week of course the most skeptical members will have to be tamed by your hands in the meantime my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance stayed through the emitted light waves of a Calade lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of chops and make room for them as you have done before. Make room for my fist in your face. Hmm? <laughs> Alright, we got a key as well and some note here. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment to, of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us. Cheers. Notebook of Professor Gigax. The new method at last, at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of their native language or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental auto autonomy. Regrettably, one of the chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seems all that was left was an innate desire to resist. This chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. 
I will see to it they are sent to the well. Well, well, well. Looks as if it's been recently used. Good old Cthulhu. Good old Cthulhu. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. Very professional brain dissection. Uh oh. Which way do I go first? Oh, I'm gonna save. I know what I do. I know what I do. I just save first. When in doubt, just save the game, and then you can always. Explore before it continues. Let's see what's... Oh, this is the well. Oh, the spell. They cut their heads off. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. God, is that body parts utterly inhuman? Gaze into the abyss, and lo and behold, the abyss gazes back into you. of the abyss is the light from the abyss oh. get out of my head praying room shut up shut up shut up shut up it's my prayer there's nothing here Wait, do we have to, uh, no. A hydraulic elevator, how ingenious. There's nobody here? Why is it coming down just now? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. 
says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. And I found her like that when I entered, on my word. What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Well, now at least she got her own lobotomy, right? The only regret is that she didn't suffer enough. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. Oh, it was the girl with the doll. Heidi. Heidi. How did she... it... end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. Oh, the mind the place. Where does the evidence lead next? Well, it seems to lead to New Orleans, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> it seems New Orleans and New Orleans and... There'll be one more about New Orleans. Oh, there we go. My men in New Orleans. There we go. Yes. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears that the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of E.W. Grain to sell gems. We needed Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I am not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that, Watson. Treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized, lacking all else. She was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John.
Chapter 4, The Outsiders. New Orleans. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. Sheesh. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Let's torture him to death. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Uh, where are the socks? Ah, not an auspicious Let's remove stuff. his frontal and temporal mind, lobe. I'll handle it. You go on ahead. All right, let's check the map. Again, with these colors here. I don't know what the... What, where are the three colors? And with three, I mean four. So this is where we... Where I am, right? I'm walking in here. Pere Doppi... What does that say? Berra... Bernadotti Limited. So, okay. So we're coming in here. We're looking at this or that. No, we're looking at that house. So there should be a train in front of us. Mm. Over there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's explore the pier first. Little exploration never hurt anyone. Except for all it hurt and killed. Oh, is that a little brothel? Where yet, gentlemen? Here to enjoy yourselves? No, I'm here to enjoy you. <laughs> but just with my eyes. I don't touch. <laughs> that way it's free. I touch later in the bedroom. <clears throat> I might have too, I might have had too many vitamins. Hang on. Ooh. Delicious vitamin gin tonic. Ah, it's good for your health. It's got those vitamin C that you need. Opals being auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. So there's no way this dog would just completely ignore us if we approach it. Doesn't even look at us. I'm instantly unimmersed. Game breaking bug. I have to uninstall and and uh, and the bleach my hard disk from this game. It is unacceptable. Oh, this is a... When you hear this sound, it's time to jump in front of the train. For good luck. For good luck and also for good measure. For good everything. What is he doing? Is Phantomine coughing? <coughs> oh no, now he's loud. Now it's worse. Okay, we got the Mickey Mouse news here. Do you want to read made-up garbage that sounds real? I'll pass. I'd rather read the actual Mickey Mouse. So, now, in all, uh, in all seriousness, the Harbor Master's office. Oh, it's on the other side of the road. Oh wait, let's check out this corner here since it's a dead end. This game has basically almost nothing and it's, I have to say, it's kind of refreshing compared to those open world games where you have like everywhere, oh, you pick up this, oh, you got a little coin in the corner and then we get some of this plant for crafting here and then, oh, look here, there's some spare metal parts under this, there we go, we can craft something later. Okay, let's see the trash can, oh, it's rummage through the trash, oh, look, I got a piece of cloth. 
I can make some bandages out, out of it. Uh, so I'm so tired of that. I'm not saying it's ne necessarily a bad thing, but it's just like a giant waste of time. It doesn't make the game a lot better. Picking up stuff everywhere and then making something out of it. It can be great if it's like a proper RPG. Of course, it's part of it. I think there, there's more fun ways to make a game longer. Oh, a safe. The safe looks like it had a baby. A baby safe. Oh, little baby safe. Aww. Okay, let's go to the harbor master office. Let's just follow the leads that we have. There we go. Pieces, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is, uh, there will be an auction at the banking house of E. W. Gray that will sell black opals. Oh. May I ask you something? Always glad to help. Can I marry you? No, I'm just asking. I mean, never hurts, right? The bank can be found on the street up the port on the left side of the Harbor Master Building, opposite Chinatown. So we're going in the wrong direction, basically. Do you know anything about this? You better ask someone else about that. What are they doing? Don't they have four voice actors for those two idiots? Help me, please. I'm sorry. You should search for answers somewhere else. Okay, so we already know where it is. Uh, the banking house of E.W. Gray. This is Chinatown. And that is opposite of Chinatown. Why, why am I even walking around here? There's nothing to be found except for what we have to found. Which is fine. I like that this game is linear. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. And who do we have here? Myopia. What is Myopia? Something here. Hidden tabloid newspaper. Ah. It's pretending to be smart. Something in the pocket. Sandwich. The guard at the bank is a real character. Storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time while reading Abe Lincoln alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. The guard at the bank is a real character. So it sounds able to go. Uh, a paranoid fool with a bad taste. Or is it a paranoid fool if you just question stuff? You have to question stuff, or you become a lamb, the lamb of God. So, who are we? Um, should we be honest or not? I kind of want to want to say my name is Sherlock Holmes. I just don't know if we're if we're uh, like world famous or not. Eh, we're just gonna try it. You have me mistaken, sir. My name. If you ain't Frank Barnaby, you ain't coming in. I'm Frank Listen, Barnaby. The fate of many lives is at stake. I'm sure it is. So, not going to let me in then? No name, no invitation, no entry. Gosh darn, hot dog, fish and sticks. Holmes, over here. Fish and fish sticks. Any luck? 
None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. All righty then. Oh, we can deduct who is the jewel seller A. Nice, we got nothing here. Oh, we need, uh, we can't, okay, we can't deduct. We, we could deduct if we had any clues, but we don't. <clears throat> let's ask, uh, let's ask him where Frank Barnaby is. Move along, mister. Ain't nothing here for you. Is this familiar to you? I'll help you, sir. You have my full attention. The locals say that he owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Barnaby's Hidden Gems. A marvelous home. A... Do we have a... Uh, he no. within a city? Indeed. Those we don't know how the shop looks. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Barnaby's hidden gems. Gun store. Can I get some gun? No. Wait, we can change our, our clothes. You can't. No, we can't. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. What is this? Giddy Gator Bar. May I ask you something? I don't wish to be rude, but. I don't have a clue about this. Giddy up a gub. No, giddy up buttercup. Butter, buttercup. There we go. I got it. Giddy up buttercup. Barnaby's hidden gems here. Locked. No one's here. Let's crash in through the window. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. She! Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. He's a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at the local bar, car, bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. He can be recognized by a yellow hat and a green jacket. Giddy up, buttercup. I knew we were gonna... Green hat? No. This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice um, way. Is this familiar to you? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. Sheesh. Giddy Gator Bar, an arrow pointing straight. So where's the bar? It's just this table here. Giddy, oh, there we go. That is not him. Green hat? Please. No, I've not heard about that. Sorry. Giddy Gator Bar. Oh, on this side. There we go. Sheesh. How do we get in? Excuse me, just one question. What makes you think I can be of any help? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> These are fake talking too. <laughs> like the other two guys. Oh, 
Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes. Oh, it is him. Oh, green jacket and yellow hat. The banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident will exclude you from our list of buyers. Can we, uh... Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Don't mind if I do. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? Oh no, it I'm him now. Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. All right, here we go. Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? Tom's following us, huh? Do we get a plus one, maybe? Wait, what is she? Oh, it looked like she was wearing a cake on her head. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Here Mr. goes nothing. Uh, right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Come on in. Heavens, I have never seen Jim so big. I the banking house of E.W. Gray will be hosting a clo closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones. However, the bank clerk, Mrs. Zoe Clements, has confirmed the authenticity of <laughs> each stone. Must have them. Black opal, origin Australia, yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful, They're beautiful. They're so black, yes. it's like they absorb light. Rather yes, yes. not. Yes. Can Hello. you satisfy my curiosity? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. No? Or can you satisfy my sexual lust? No? Okay. What do you mean that's weird? I'm just asking politely. Sheesh. There's another black opal here. And here. <coughs> Psst. Jesus. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. <laughs> oh, I can't stay serious anymore. Um, it usually works, but I think today I had a little bit. Bit too much vitamins. Uh. Are you able to help me? Mm. I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. All right. <clears throat> so what do we do here? This might be useful. I'll make a note. The banking house of E. W. Gray thanks its fine philanthropists. Let's see, is there one of them that I remember from 20 years ago? No. You know, 20 years ago was when the original game released, 2007. Never say you never learn anything here. Who is the seller A? Frank Barnaby. What else do we have? We don't have any more greens. Oh, there we go. I got a topic to talk about. 
May I ask for your assistance? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm clueless. And that's how you'll look. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. She sounds like she got a stick up her bootay. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. That's something special. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity? Ha! <laughs> What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Oh, no. <laughs> Sheriff Grub. An oversized hat for his oversized ego. <laughs> All right, Sheriff Grub is the law in New Orleans. Uh... Looking after his nails, appearance, and image. However, is it just a cover for his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community who uses this image to distract and disguise his true nature? Actually, a barking, toothless dog. The man attempts to make the impression that he is an important figure in the life of New Orleans. However, he is just a small cog in the governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with his role that he tries to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks, and... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh... I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud... Impersonation? That's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. To his so, mom? Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, Doctor. <sighs> I guess me and my money go different ways now. <laughs> mm. 
So what are we doing now? Just uh... may I ask you something? I no, let's not ask idea her again. What you're talking about. May I ask you something? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Maybe we can uh, go to the mine place. Who is the seller? A. I don't think we have all. We have all. Oh! All the the evidence. We need one more document or testimony. Uh, where do we get that? I don't think anything else is in here. We can leave. you Holmes I told you it was a bad plan now we're penniless and wanted criminals hysteria gets us nowhere Watson tell me what happened the sheriff saw right through me he knew who I was from the start extorted me for every coin I had but all that matters is what you learned about the gems <laughs> I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes I'm going back to the boat to get changed Oh, and I have to walk? Wait, I can teleport. Whoosh. <laughs> Wasn't that our boat? The pox on the crew. From the other side, maybe. Sheesh. Maybe not. <laughs> so what I have to do? I don't get it. Is that, isn't that my boat? It's just closed. No. No! Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it back in order. What? You gotta be kidding me. I just tossed it over the fence. Maybe I can change clothes here. You can't change clothes here. You know, I think the look actually compliments you. Why bother changing it? Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. I guess we're going here then. Is she wearing diapers? Ooh. Rooms available. What are we doing here? I don't get it. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. Forget the sheriff. I'm sure it was simply bluster and bloviation. I'm not sure what we what we're supposed to do. He wanted to change his clothes and then he goes back to the ship, but the ship I can't access maybe I can change the clothes here. Oh. Oh bollocks, now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. 
It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barterby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the Nymph. The Nymph of Louisiana. 